Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a Sharon Shen book. This is The 13th House by Sharon Shen. Uh, she's one of my favorite fantasy writers. She writes really good fantasy with very good world building. Um, very good politics, very good government, very good people. Um, <clears throat> and she's a fantasy romance, so she also has a lot of romance in her book, which happens to be my favorite genre to read. I love fantasy stories and I love romance. However, I did not like this book. And I'm going to talk about why I don't like this book when I always like her books. So this is the second book in horror, 12 Houses Trilogy. Um, this book follows Kira, that's her on the cover, and she is a magic shape changer or shape shifter. So these animals around here, she can shape shift into any kind of animals and she can make objects turn into other objects. So that's a little bit about her backstory. She is also a Sarah Mara, which is kind of like a princess. She is also kind of, um, I would guess, an aristocrat. So, the reason I didn't like this book is that for 75% of the book, she is pretending to be somebody else. And this other, other person is boring. So for 75% of the book, she is pretending to be someone else. She has shape-shifted into her sister. So Kira is the eldest daughter in House Dana Lustros. I don't know if I am pronouncing that either correctly. She's the eldest. She has a sister named Kassara. Kassara is boring. And for the whole book, Kira is pretending to be Kassara through like this much of the book. She's, her sister doesn't want to leave Dana Lestris. She loves the land. She's going to become the next head of the land. Uh, she doesn't want to leave, so her father and her, they came up with this plan to have the mystic, Kira, go off to all of these balls and events in the other 11 houses um, and pretend to be Kassara. But Kassara is boring. So you spend a lot of the book getting to know Kassara on a very intimate level, except for you really want to get to know Kira because this book is supposed to be about Kira. So when you're in Kira's thoughts and you're thinking, She's always like, Kassara would do this because of this reason, and this is why I did this, because Kassara would do it this way, and you're like, I am so tired of Kassara, is she ever going to be Kira? Um, and I read this book and picked it up because I wanted to learn about Kira. If I wanted to learn about Kassara, I would have picked up a book about her. And there isn't one, and for good reason, because her sister Kassara is boring. She's boring. <laughs> She wants to stay at home. She doesn't really like talking to people. Kira is the person I was interested in and the reason I picked up the book. She's outgoing, vivacious, she speaks her mind. She's daring, she loves adventure. Kasra is a refined lady. It's, it's weird, it comes off weird. Kira's personality is stifled by her pretending to be Kasra. And I guess I didn't like that. I wanted to see Kira's personality blossom and grow. The second thing that I really just did not like about this book is the romance. Now, Sharon Shen writes really good romance usually, but this time it just did not come across that way. So Kira falls in love with somebody who's married. Now, even in our society, that's considered taboo. In their society, that is extremely looked down upon and even she feels guilt over it. So every time she's with the man she loves or having romantic things happen to her with the man she loves, she feels this overbearing sense of guilt because she's married. Um, so you're reading this and you get this like icky sense of like, I don't even know, the romance is not enjoyable because it's overshadowed by this guilt and by the clandestine affair that he is married. And he's not married to a shrew. His wife is very kind and loving. Um, it's not the marriage that he chose. It's not one of those arranged marriages or anything. That just tainted the entire romance. And 
all of her friends, all of Kira's friends tell her not to hang out with this guy and that he's bad news and that she shouldn't be around him. And they're right in the end. In the end, she ends up leaving him. And this is what made it even more upsetting is that throughout the whole novel, there's this tension between the mystics, the magic people like Kira and others, um, and the common people who don't use magic. Are the mystics evil? Do they have too much power? Well, Kira uses her power for her healing. She has a healing power as well as the changeling or shape-shifting power. She uses her power to take away the love that this man feels for her, as in she uses her power to corrupt his feelings. Um, and I think that was badly done. I don't the book discusses, like, do mystics have too much power? And I think that oversteps her power. I think that was wrong. She should have ended things on her own terms and said, hey, you're married. Um, you need to be with your wife. I can't be with you. Instead, she took the easy way out and took his romance and his love for her from him so he would forget about it. And that just seems really wrong to me. She chose to get into a relationship with this guy. She can't just erase his love like that. It's, it's wrong. That's a mystic overstepping their bounds. And there's no repercussions from that, which there should be. I will say about the 12 house novels, the first one, I really loved it. Um, I will, that's why I read the second one. This is the second one. I loved the first book. I've ordered books three, four, and five because of how much I love that first book. And I hope those ones are better because this one didn't answer any of the questions that the first book brought up as mysteries. It didn't fulfill my longings for the cliffhangers the first book had. Um, nothing really is much explored in this book. You get to see more of the 12 houses. So I'm hoping the third, fourth, and fifth books will answer those questions and redeem the story. And that has been Books with Carolyn Markey. If you guys like me talking about books, I will keep trying to do it amid the noise of my very adventurous and very rambunctious children.